Okay, hey everybody, it's Jason here with Hydrofin, and I'm with Roy Blackman, he's with ITW Plexus. And so we are here at the IBEC show, it's in Tampa, Florida. And I wanted to come up here and have a little bit of conversation with Roy, because for Hydrofin, for those of you who don't know, so we've got the hyperfoils for pontoon boats. And what these do is these generate lift to the boat to reduce drag, improve performance, improve speed on the boat. But a lot of our customers ask, how do we attach the foils to the boat? And what we've done is we actually use the Plexus product to attach it. And so here's one of the plates that we use effectively to glue with the Plexus product to the boat. We would actually do some surface prep on this and we would actually glue this particular product to the boat. You can see it fits at the same curvature to the hull or the log of the boat. And so in this video, we wanted to just talk about the Plexus products, how strong it is, what customers can expect from it, and just answer a couple of questions. So ITW is performance polymers, which is a standard in the marine industry, and we use it for bonding screener grids and all types of applications in the marine industry. This particular product is a fiberless metal bonder with glass beads in it that you can use on the plate itself without a primer and you just have to make sure that you maintain a good bond line which is a, usually a good breed bond line is about 60,000. Okay and so to be clear on the bond line so that is the thickness of the material right so yes, like sir. when the product is applied to to the plate here, that's the thickness the of it. Line. Yes, sir. Your, your blue line, as you call it, or your bead, should be about 60,000 so you can maintain the integrity of the yeah. bond. Because what you're trying to get is a cohesive bond with the material, and you can't you cannot have that if you squeeze too much of the material out. Okay, and what does that do to the customer? That helps create the physical properties that you need, make the mechanical bond that you're going to have for the metal to allow the strength of the adhesive to do its job. And what we do with this product, so as you can see, it's a two-part epoxy. And so with our kits, if you purchase the Hydrofan kit, we're going to ship out the plexus so you'll get two tubes of the plexus is 400 milliliters each as well as the applicating gun which is like a cock yeah yes sir yeah yes, sir. and so typically what we will recommend on this plate is just basically apply it we leave it down the plate make sure you get full good coverage on it and then and again this is what we've learned over time is they all put two full loops around this to make sure that when this plate is bonded to the boat, that there's no water penetration that can get around the outer end. So the, the, this material here is comparable to a weld in strength. And this is one of the reasons why people are going to the adhesives because it is quite easier than the weld and you can apply it without having to have the arc welders and it's just a lot easier and a faster, quicker process than welding. And the strength is there for you as well. Absolutely. So let's talk about surface preparation. In order to ensure the best bond, what type of surface preparation do you guys recommend? That you basically you will need to sand any uh, corrosion or any any blemishes that you see on the product as you're putting it on. And then again, it's, it doesn't hurt to have a primer on here, but this is a primerless, basically bond bonding material. It's a one to one chemistry. It's a 400 mil cartridge, and you will be able to use it to bond that metal and. You, your surface prep, you do definitely do need to sand, sand any corrosion and then wipe it clean of any debris that's on there. Okay. It's when we do our installs, what, what we do and what we highly recommend to our customers is to get basically a sanding wheel, a disc yep. grinder, and basically just uh, make sure that they clean off that surface to make sure that they get to the bare raw surface. Yep. Material, right? Yes. Is that kind uh, of yes, sir. If you do not do that, you will not get the bond that you need. Yeah. You definitely have to have good surface prep off for this material. Okay. And what about after sanding it? Do you re also recommend 
any sort of cleaning with acetone or with alcohol or anything yeah, yeah, like that? Yes, sir. I okay. would recommend you wipe it down and okay. make sure that you have a good, clean surface to bond to. Yeah. Uh, because if you have any oils or anything of that nature, the, the adhesive is not going to do what it's supposed to do. Roy, thank you so much. Enjoy the partnership. Look forward to many, many more years. Yes, sir. Looking forward to it. Thank you.